Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the channel. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video. Today, we are taking a look at Cameron Smith's golf swing. Now, Cameron Smith is probably a very underrated golfer, always plays well, plays well at the Masters, seems to be up there a lot and having a really, really good year this year, and has quite an interesting golf swing with some really good matchups, which are important to kind of understand and yeah, let's dive in and take a look at Cameron Smith's golf swing. If you have any thoughts, think I've missed anything, comment down below, let me know what you think of Cameron Smith's golf swing, and I reply to all of your comments too. So let's dive in. First of all, we have some videos of Cameron Smith at Royal St. George's from the Open Championship 2021. And I actually did get to see Cameron Smith play a little bit there. And he has an unbelievable short game, which again, we're going to be taking a look at later in this video. So first of all, set up, we've got what looks like probably a seven or maybe eight iron here, probably a seven iron. And first of all, there's a few interesting things to take a look at. I believe Cameron Smith hits a fade, but kind of also pretty straight ball flight, doesn't move the ball too much in the air. And set up, alignment looks really, really good. Posture is pretty good as well. Looks like he's sitting maybe a little bit far back uh, in terms of his hips are kind of behind his ankles a little bit. Also has quite low hands, quite close into his body and the club shaft is sitting quite flat. Now as we take this club back, kind of interesting move here, kind of works a little bit in and then up. And if we pause it parallel to the ground, it's a pretty good position there. Um, kind of really interesting move here where the club worked in and then up. He has some kind of unique movements in his swing with his hands, which we will be seeing in a, more in a second. We can see he's already kind of starting to pivot and turn with the lower body nicely. The club face is nice and square. We can see his grip is quite strong. You can see that left thumb kind of on top or even a little bit behind the middle of the shaft. Um, this is again a really important thing to understand with Cameron Smith's swing. And as we continue to play this back, that club's going to work up nicely. Works pretty traditionally at this point. You know, lower body has stopped turning. He allows the upper body to turn the arms to move to the top. And then he just gets a little bit long and if we pause it at the top, gets a little bit, you would probably say down the line. He's not quite across the line, but I think probably a bad swing for him would be across the line. I got to see some of his practice swing rehearsals at the Open Championship. It's always really interesting to see a tour player's practice swing rehearsals because you can kind of see where they're trying to go with their swings. Because they work so closely with their coaches, their practice swing rehearsals are always on point. They're exactly what they're trying to feel and exactly where they're trying to move with their golf swing. And most of the time, they're very, very different to their actual golf swings. So here, very, very strong left hand and right hand grip as well. We can see that that left wrist is pretty flat, but that club face is pointing more up towards the sky. So important to understand that. And as oh, also quite a lot of uh, bend in his right arm, very connected with his right arm, but a, very, a lot of bend in it as well. The, his left arm and hands kind of sit pretty much on his shoulder plane, and a lot of left bend at this point. Spine angle is pretty much at about 45 degrees, maybe even slightly more and you know great position of the lower body there's it's really interesting to understand this golf swing from a front on angle which we're going to be taking a look at in a second because there's a few things you need to understand there as we start to play this down club and hands are going to drop the club's going to start to shallow out as that right arm right elbow moves back out in front of him club shallows really nicely and starts to rotate at this position if we pause it parallel to the ground in a pretty good position here. It's kind of interesting, Cameron Smith's golf swing looks slightly unusual, but he gets himself into a lot of really good positions. And you know, when you watch it, it kind of looks like a bit of a loop to his swing, but he gets the club actually in really good positions. 
So very, very connected with the right arm. Club face is hard to see a little bit, but looks pretty good, looks pretty square. Spine angle's really good, posture's good. Um, good flex in the hips and the knees. As he's shifting, we can see he's shifting that weight to his left side because his right foot is starting to roll inwards. And if we play this down into the ball and pause it at impact, pretty good position again. Slightly open with the hips, slightly open with the shoulders, right arm, right elbow all connected, looks like he's compressing the ball nicely, right foot has rolled inwards really nicely, so really good there. The only thing is you can see he does have still quite a lot of bend in that left leg, which is why his hip, left hip hasn't cleared as much as maybe it could have, and as we play this through extends the arms well the arms kind of move left actually arms and club move left underneath him a little bit as he kind of he gets quite a lot of curvature in his spine and then he brings the hands and arms up and in front of him let's just play that back a few times for you guys so really really interesting movements here gets some really good positions but then gets a few kind of little funky ish positions where you know he has a very strong grip that's why, well that's one reason he likes that club to move left after impact so he doesn't pull the golf ball. And it looks like he hits a nice crisp little maybe 3-4 yard fade or even just a pretty straight ball. So his matchup there with that strong, strong grip is probably really that club moving left after impact. And if we think about other players who have a strong grip in their golf swings, Dustin Johnson springs to mind. That's also a matchup in Dustin Johnson's golf swing where he has a very strong grip and he likes to hit a fade and he gets the club moving left after impact. Now let's take a look at Cameron Smith's iron swing from front on. Again, this is at Royal St. George's. Here, we really good look this. If we, well, first of all, set up pretty neutral setup. Hands maybe you could say a little bit far behind, not not very forward press, the club shaft isn't in line with his left arm, but not bad, you know, he'll be getting into a good position at impact. As we start to take this club back, he kind of t takes it away slightly with his hands and hands and arms, a little bit before turning his body. And as we take this club to the top, not much wrist set, quite late wrist set in this golf swing. If we pause it at the top, well, first of all, it's not a very long golf swing, even though obviously he's hitting, you know, probably a seven iron or something. But some really, really good positions to get into. He has a fairly central golf swing. He doesn't really shift pressure too much laterally into his right side. He loads up into his right side by that right hip moving back and gets a really beautiful spine angle and big shoulder turn at this point. Great pivot in his swing but doesn't really shift too much for weight and pressure laterally. He kind of stays more on his left side, actually, but really connected to his body with the hands and arms. You can see the hands and arms really beautifully in front of him, haven't got too deep, haven't got in behind him. And as we play this down, he shifts weight and pressure left a little bit as that hands and arms drop. You can kind of see how strong that club face is. And as we pause it, as he slowly comes into the ball, we'll pause it at impact. Really good impact position. Um, you can see quite a lot of shaft lean there. Great position there. So a few things to talk you guys through. Again, we can see that that left leg at this point has quite a lot of bend in it. Um, slightly unusual for this point of the golf swing. His hip, we can see his hips and his shoulders are open to the target. He's maintained his spine angle nicely, tilted slightly further, slightly back. And weight and pressure going through the ball. We can see if we look at his feet, they're really, you know, almost rolling onto their left side. And weight and pressure going through the golf ball. As we play this through, he's going to hold on to that face. Doesn't really let it release over too much. And remember those hands and arms exit left as he comes up through to that nice balanced finish position. Let's just play through this once or twice for you guys. And you can kind of see how he doesn't have really any move off the ball. If 
we think of someone like Rory McIlroy, has quite a significant move uh, away from the ball, kind of onto his right side, whereas Cameron Smith stays very, very, very central. He also, Cameron Smith, doesn't have much release of the club because he has that strong grip. If he has any release of the club, the ball will probably end up going left. Instead, he holds on to that face, doesn't really release the hands and arms, and then exits left so that you know he hit, can hit that nice little fade or even just dead straight shot. Now let's take a look at another swing of Cameron Smith. This was at the Masters and Cameron Smith always does so well at the Masters. It's, it's just crazy. Um, probably won't pause this parallel to the ground. We can see that club working up nicely in front of him. Probably gets a little bit flatter in this swing as he takes the club back. And then as we pause it at the top, he gets that move just as he gets to the top where the hands start to kind of move down and deep a little bit and that gets the club shaft more down the line or even sometimes across the line with that square with that closed face. Again we can notice a lot of things. Here you can see a lot more bend in the left leg and the right leg looks pretty straight. I would probably say in the last video we took a look at his right leg probably was not as straight as this. But everything else in this golf swing is pretty similar. As we play this through, we're going to notice hands and arms drop back down in front of him with that square face as he shells it out a little bit. If we pause it parallel to the ground, here we can, this is a really good look at seeing just how strong that club face is. Pretty much matches his spine angle perfectly. Now, again, if you look at the back of his left wrist, it's almost pointed more up to the right, even not even kind of horizontally, but actually even slightly up, whereas the club face is pointed down. Now this is a pretty good indication here that he has a very, very, very strong grip, uh, but with, with both hands really, probably a three, four knuckle grip and his right hand looks quite strong as well. But really good connection with the right elbow to the body. And as he starts to rotate onto the ball, if we pause it at impact, actually it looks like he has a bit more rotation uh, in this golf swing. His hips pretty open, arms very nicely connected, compressing the golf ball. We can see again rolling onto the inside of his feet as he swings through. His swings left, remember. Hands and arms and club all move to the left underneath him a little bit and then nice balance finish. Let's just play this through a few times for you guys. So slightly different to the last swing, gets the club working up, but then kind of a bit flatter. Looks like he's trying to lay it off a bit more, but then just works across the line at the top a little bit. And then on the way down, pulls those arms back down out in front of him, gets that club back out in front of him, moves left through the ball and a nice balance finish position. Comment down below what you think of Cameron Smith's golf swing. There's certainly quite a few really interesting things to look at there. We're going to have a look at Cameron Smith's short game in a second. He has a really good chipping and pitching action. And before that, let's just take a look at one more swing of Cameron Smith, which is a good one to have a look at. This is on the PGA Tour again at the range. And let's just play through this again. You're going to see pretty much the same thing. Strong grip. Works actually slightly more up and in front of him. Not such a long swing here. Hands and arms much uh, lower and more connected below his shoulder plane. Looks like this might be a slightly shorter club. Little bit more knee bend in the right leg than we previously saw. And then they work back down in front of him with that square club face really nice move there from Cameron Smith just leave that to play once more for you guys and then we're going to take a look at a really awesome look at Cameron Smith's short game so here we have Cameron Smith set up with a wedge and just looks like he's hitting a nice little high soft pitch shot here and Cameron Smith you know Maybe not one of the most physically gifted athletic players on tour, but unbelievable short game. And that's, you know, that is his game. His game is iron play, primarily being pretty straight, pretty consistent, good ball striking, but then also unbelievably good around the greens and on them. So let's play this through. Uh, we can see, first of all, it's set up that the club face wide, wide, wide open. 
Um, also, fairly flared out with his feet, with his toes. You can actually see even that right foot kind of turned in a little bit. Really interesting, that. As he takes the club through, now he will have a slightly weaker grip here. And if we pause it parallel to the ground, you can kind of see that where the toe is pointing much more up in the air to expose the bounce of the club as he continues taking it back. Really good look. If we pause it at the top, sets that club nicely. Good, good plane, everything connected, arms connected, good connection with that right arm to the body. And as we play it back down, it keeps it pretty simple, comes pretty much back down on exactly the same plane if we pause it parallel to the ground. That's almost very close to being an identical position to how he took the club away. And as we play this down into the ball, pause it at impact. You can kind of see he's holding on to a little bit of angle in his wrist, just a little bit, but coming through super shallow through the ball. And if we play this through, he exits left, kind of cuts across the ball a little bit, keeps that loft on the club face. And that ball doesn't go to the right because of how low he's got the hands moving to square that face up to also expose a bit more bounce. Now let's just play this back once or twice for you guys to take a look at. Uninterrupted. You can see how open that club face is. That wrist set really nicely connected comes through on exactly the same same plane, same, same path and exits left with that bounce exposed and you know just bruising the ground just brushing the ground let's take a look at another one and this is uh this is one i particularly particularly like well let's take a look at royal st george's first of all actually we'll play this one through a few times this was um <laughs> this was a really nice shot this was uh just picking the ball off this is like short little pitch up picking it off a tight lynx lie now let's play this back and we'll just kind of leave it to play also kind of weird to note that actually cameron smith's stance is slightly closed here to where he's actually trying to hit this ball and that's also something i've done previously and a lot of the best short game coaches teach you to close your stance a little bit to help you come through a little bit shallower on the way down now let's just play this back really good look just very simple very connected with the hands arms and the body no real no no kind of lateral movement no kind of vertical movement no no up and down move with his head or anything like that um just really really beautiful simple pitching action one that pretty much any of us could copy now the last video i want to show you guys is <laughs> this is pretty awesome he's hitting this pitch shot just with his left hand now check this out, just with his left arm, keeps it connected to the body and actually holds it. Absolutely awesome shot here. Take another look at this, guys. Just really sick. Just left arm only. Really keeps it connected to the body, keeps that loft on it, exposing the bounce, letting it release underneath and holds out. Pretty difficult shot there, just with one hand, one arm. Pretty impressive stuff from Cameron Smith. So there, guys, that is Cameron Smith's goal swing. Comment down below what you think of it. What do you think of Cameron Smith's goal swing? Is there some aspects you would copy from it? For me, I would probably say I really like it from the front on angle. I think the body positions he gets into from that angle look really, really good. No kind of real lateral movement, and that's kind of something... You maybe wouldn't copy with your driver so much, but with an iron, with short irons and wedges, 100% copy. That's going to make you a really good, consistent wedge player. And also how he has that no real release through the ball, maintains his angles beautifully, doesn't fold anything or cripple anything like you might see most amateur golfers do. And just really, really solid golf swing. I wouldn't teach anyone to have that strong a grip it's incredibly strong with both hands but he matches it up really really well it works really really well and that's what's important for him guys incredibly talented australian golfer cameron smith comment down below i'd love to hear your guys thoughts reply to all your comments give this video a like subscribe to the channel as well guys i will see you guys in the next one as always grip it and rip it